Hi, I'm Jackie O'Neill. I'm the artist that created the 13 pictures for Dreamscape Art Trail, one of which was created with the children of Belturbet themselves. I'll just tell you a little bit about this project. Um, I was commissioned in 2019 um, to create artwork about the land of Belturbet and the people itself, working with the people of Belturbet. Um, so this part project was really two parts, I suppose. A big part of it was research um, and I spent a lot of time uh, hanging around Belturbet in the cafes, talking to people, um, reading a lot of reading about history, mythology, working with the local historian George Morrissey, um, observing the land itself and gathering, gathering lots and lots of imagery. So then came the creative part, which was for me to take all that information um, and um, make, make my own story out of it, I suppose, is what I did. And I call those stories dreamscapes. And for me, a dreamscape, um, is the lines, the lines between nature and landscape and mythology and folklore uh, and history kind of blur a little bit. Um, so for me, that's what a dreamscape is. It's all those things coming together as one in one composition. So I did a lot of different drawings um, separately, but I knew what my final composition was going to be. Um, so I took myself off and did a lot of watercolour drawings and backgrounds. And then the last part is to scan them in and hope that they'll come together in the way that I initially envisaged them. Um, and that's how I create my dreamscapes. So each piece is a dreamscape. Each piece has a lot of different transparencies and layers to it. And I suppose my objective is that in a dreamscape, um, timelines don't even come into it because we're covering um, landscape and nature. We're dreaming with the landscape. Um, we're dreaming about mythology and we are um, looking at actual facts that happened here in Belturbet and they all somehow collide to create these uh, beautiful big round pieces um, that we hope that people can enjoy and learn a little bit about the history of the land. So each piece on Turbot Island Dreamscape Trail has its own story to tell and as part of Culture Night 2020 we're going to take you there now. When the moon's a dark-eyed sailor Telling tales to the stars You'll be stepping through the shadows To the seven horseshoes bar To the warm firelight Burning so bright Waiting for the mayfly On a bridge beneath the sky Painted lady butterflies Flutter in his eyes She's waiting by the window tree Just beyond the ridge She whispers down to meet him On the steel island bridge Like she in the night Strangers in flight See the sunlight in her eyes Love and laughter in her eyes Just beyond the ridge on the steel island bridge Just beyond the ridge On the steel island bridge Folks, it's absolutely great to welcome down here to Torbett Island to our Dreamscapes Trail. As Cahillock of the Cavanagh Torbett Municipal District, it's great to have you down here on Torbett Island, and it's with great privilege and pleasure I welcome Sarah Riley, Cahillock of Cavanagh County Council. 
Thanks very much, Brendan. I'm delighted to be here tonight to, uh, to witness your celebration of Culture Night. I think we have a feast of storytelling and music ahead of us. Welcome to Culture Night 2020. The Ice Age melts and the circle of life begins. On Kaliak, or the Veiled Woman, is amongst the most ancient deities venerated in Ireland. In my version, the Kaliak's power lies in the ice cold of the winter. Once it was said that she ruled all the world, when the green things slept for untold eons beneath her thick icy cloak, until she was given cause for great sorrow and wept floods of tears across the land, her heart melting to a thaw and letting loose the rivers. As she wept, she dropped many large rocks from her apron, which became mountains and hills, and her hammer shaped the valley below. In this dreamscape, the first human awakens and the first plant emerges from the ice. The first animal appears too. It is the woolly mammoth who belongs to the Ice Age. Remnants of a woolly mammoth are believed to have been found on this island in recent years. Proof that the land we stand on is very ancient indeed. I think about time. What does it mean? The young girl in my dreamscape is a lady I met recently named Margaret Timmins. Margaret was born in 1917 in Killalea and still lives in Belturbet. She is now 102. She is the oldest living member of the community now, but was once, of course, a small girl. She remembers very clearly her father carrying her over the bad floods on Christmas morning to get to early morning mass in Belturbet town. The Inspector of Drains, William Percy French, 1st of May 1854, 24th of January 
1920, was one of Ireland's foremost songwriters and entertainers in his day. French was born at Tony Quinn House near Tulk, County Roscommon, the son of an Anglo-Irish landlord. He was the third child of nine. He graduated from TCD as a civil engineer in 1881 and joined the Board of Works in County Cavan as an inspector of drains. From 1881 to 1884, he worked in Balturbet inspecting farm drains. He lived in a little house here on Mill Hill. His favourite mode of transport to get around was his bicycle. It is said that he wrote his best songs during this period. His most famous song about Cavan is, of course, Come Back Paddy Riley to Bally James Duff. The lyrics of this song carry symbolism about a country that was going through a big change. In more recent times, he has become recognised for his watercolour paintings. He was a prolific painter of landscape watercolours. When living in Balturbet, he was fond of cycling to Castle Sanderson to paint the gardens close to the castle. Apparently, all the doors in his little house were covered in landscape paintings. The house still stands on Mill Hill and now belongs to Mrs. Lily McGinley. Growing and milling flax in this area was big business at this time. Imagine Percy observing the big mills, the blue flax flowers, and the local birds on his daily commute along the River Erm. As I walk the road from Kilachandra, weary I sat down. For it's twelve long miles around the lake to get to Cavan Town. Lockoot the road I go, both seem beyond compare, for I curse the time it takes to reach my cavern girl so fair. Oh, the autumn shades are on the leaves, the trees will soon be bare. With each red gold leaf around me seems the colour of her hair. If my gaze retreats, I'll find my feet, then once again I'll sigh For the broken pool of sky reminds me the colour of her eyes At the Cavern Cross, each Sunday morning, it's there she can be found <laughs> And she seems to have the eye of every boy and man in Cavan Town. And if my luck shall hold, I'll have that summer golden of her smile. <laughs> and to break the hearts of all them Cavan men, maybe she'll talk to me for a while. So next Sunday morning finds me homeward, Kill a Chandra bound. I'll work the week till I return to court in Cavan Town and asked if she will be my bride. At least she'll not say no. So next Sunday morning I'll up and I'll rise myself and back to her I'll go la 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 The Garden of Eden 
Songwriter and artist Percy French lived and worked in Bell Turbot from 1881 to 1884. It is said that he wrote his best songs during this period. I wonder, did he write Come Back Paddy Riley to Bally Jim stuff during this time? I find the lyrics for this famous song fascinating. The Paddy Riley mentioned in this song was a Jarvie or a coach driver who often drove French to appointments in the Bally Jim stuff area. When French returned to Bally Jim stuff, after a short period away from the town, he discovered that Riley had emigrated. The thought of so many young Irish people being forced to emigrate in search of work and the land of Ireland that he knew and loved changing saddened French. So he wrote a song, a kind of a lament. He refers to the Garden of Eden vanishing, knowing the lie of it still. I feel he is witnessing a change in times and a loss in innocence in a land he clearly loves. In this dreamscape, I think about the beauty and the power of Beltarbet lands. My version of the Garden of Eden holds within it beauty and sadness. It represents a loss of innocent times and remembers those we lost through war and emigration. The Garden of Eden has vanished, they say, but I know the lie of it still. Just turn to the left at the Bridge of Finay and stop when halfway is to Good Hill. Tis there I will find it, I know sure enough, when fortune has come to my call. Oh, the grass that grows green around Bally Jim stuff, and the blue sky hangs over it all. And tones that are tender, and tones that are gruff, are whispering over the sea. Come back, Paddy Riley, to Bally Jim stuff. Come home, Paddy Riley, to me. There's ghosts on the wind, they whisper and sigh. They sing of the past as they pass you by. There's mist on the moon and the rain sifting down on the streets of the city and Belturbet town. In his room in the Bronx, when the family had gone, he, he listens for echoes lingering on. It's a long road he's come, and the path lies ahead in the lull of the living dead dance of the dead. For there's ghosts on the wind, they whisper and sigh, they sing of the past as they pass you by. There's mist on the moon, and the rain sifting down on the streets of the city in Belturbet town. A girl he knew once back in Belturbet town. He can still hear her laughing when she turned him down. With the tears and the whiskey, he feared he might drown. And he left a young heart there in Belturbet town. For there's ghosts on the wind, they whisper and sigh. They sing of the past as they pass you by. There's mist on the moon, and the rain sifting down on the streets of the city and Belturbet town. But he found a new life, and they said he struck gold. And he found a new life there to have and to hold. And the children they raised were a far distant cry from the boy that he been in those days on gone by. For there's ghosts on the wind, they whisper and sigh, they sing of the past as they pass you by. There's mist on the moon, and the rain sifting down on the streets of the city and Belturbet town. So he takes a long look at the stars overhead. They're the votes of an hope of the quick and the dead. And he closes his eyes and the dreams that drift down have arisen like mist out of Belturbet town. For there's ghosts on the wind, they whisper and sigh, they sing of the past as they pass you by. There's mist on the moon, and the rain sifting down on the streets of the city, and Belturbet town. Erin, she who travels regularly. Loch Erin appears to be named after an ancient population group called the Erni. 
who we believe were the first humans to come up the River Erne. 19th century historical linguist T.F. O'Rahilly suggested that since tribes were often named after a divine ancestor, the Erne took their name from a goddess named Erne and that Loch Erne probably means Lake of the Goddess Erne. In his view, Erne and Eru would appear to mean she who travels regularly, explained as the sun goddess, for the sun was the greatest celestial traveller. With O'Rahilly's theory in mind, the artist explored the idea of the River Erne being a goddess who resides and travels regularly in the river. Her divine power dissolves into the river and then feeds life into the land and the sun. She holds St. John's wort, a symbol of summer. Imagine her feeding life into this island now and in times past. The Mott and Bailey structure, which was built on this island in the 13th century by the Normans, is unusual in that it appears to have a double bailey sited north and south of the Mott, thus incorporating most of the island. Can you imagine how magnificent it must have looked to the locals at the time? The Bailey is unique in County Cavan and surrounding counties, and you can still find evidence of the structure on this island. Thank you for joining us for Culture Night 2020. It's been a magical night with music and storytelling. Thank you, Sarah. It's great to be here down on the Martin Daly on Torbett Island under the big tree. We're going to finish off now with a couple of tunes from the fantastical Torbett Kiltis. Thank you very much. I hope you had a great night. It's great to be here with the Dreamscapes Trail here on Torbett Island. Good night. God bless and thank you very much. Well, Torbett.